G-Shock just launched a better sized G-Steel with Bluetooth and Solar for almost half the price of their Square or the Casio. And the quality is spot on. Today I will start with the conclusion of the video where we have to salute the fact that technology is advancing and nowadays we receive more and more refined watches. Full of features, correct size for smaller prices which is actually a contradiction with the actual trend of increasing prices on wristwatches. The GST B600 is part of the G-Steel series and it's considered the smallest and slimmest G-Steel ever made despite the rich appealing features. The old G-Steel GST B400 was offered on an oversized diameter for our demands of 49.6mm. So a massive update in size, tech and design because the new model comes on a 41.5mm in diameter which actually wears like a slim 39 40mm watch. It is something which you don't see too often on G-Shocks. The B600, besides being incredibly handsome, comes in three versions. A rubber version with red accents, a purple dial version and this bracelet version with a monochrome appearance. I personally like the red accents combo offered on a rubber version but overall I think this bracelet version, besides being more representative for the G-Steel series, it completes the watch design better, it adds value to the case. In terms of design principles and quality, I'm very excited for this model because this watch combines very well the world of G-Shocks with classic watches. If you are a watch guy and you like three hands watches on a bracelet, if unsure if you want to own a G-Shock because of the resin case, this model provides the perfect bridge between a well-sized analog watch and a G-Shock. Because it is insanely well-sized and thin enough without overlooking any of the modern hyped G-Shock properties. So the design of the new G-Steel series is impressive and the case is simply spectacular formed from various elements and shapes which reminds us of the ancient samurai helms. And if you have OCD I guess it's quite a struggle to follow so many accents that pop on the design because this case offers multiple polished and brushed rhythms. The body of the watch is formed from multi-layer decorative rings with a brushed bezel which screws in via allen screws into the body layer which offers different facets having separate screws to act like a sandwich for the resin core. Everything described sitting on an extremely thin profile of only 11.5 mm. But imagine that on the wrist it feels like a 9mm case design because this is thinner than the GAGM 2100 series which was considered the slimmest G-Shock. And yes, on the wrist is where the magic happens. The case has a conical shape which starts from a base of almost 42mm which narrows towards the bezel offering a correct dial proportion for the size. Also as profile due to the discrete case back, the case lays down on the wrist surface offering an appealing, reflective and beautiful view. The dial my friends complements with ease the exciting case design with an interesting layout similar in quality with a premium solar Bluetooth Casio having similar highly polished markers with a vertical pattern which are falling from the angled chapter ring to the dial surface. These are made mainly for legibility purposes but also designed in a way to host and distribute the light coming from the super illuminator double LEDs so they can be easily distinguished in low light conditions. I am personally expecting the bronze to add loom to the markers besides the hands. There is plenty of space on the oversized markers to put loomed accents. And then the dial offers as motif two horizontal blocks with a brushed pattern which breaks and crosses the dial, offering depth and rhythm. But what is more interesting in the foreground is the solar panel which offers a discrete concentric pattern which acts in light like a sunburst or a CD effect if you want. The 5 o'clock window is nice, is very discreet and gimmicky, but I think a bit small and less legible especially on negative display. Although it does the trick and becomes very legible when the illuminator is actioned. The analog hands are made in the same spirit of the Casio ones, not the same but close, offering a lot of strength and legibility with loom and sufficient contrast against the dial layout. 
Overall, I think the dial layout and the quality is impressive, because it contains a mix of muted surfaces with a specific dark patterns and tones against highly polished markers and contrast, resulting into a premium effect for the new G-Steel model. As features, the watch module 5724 offers solar power timekeeping with Bluetooth for accuracy adjusting the time 4 times per day has 20 bars as war resistance, hand shift feature, wall timer for 38 cities, stopwatch, timer, 5 alarms and double LED illuminator. And interesting on the peering features with the smartphone, this model provides a time and place feature, which can record the date, time and position on the map if you're using an activity log. Even a reminder, the watch can provide up to 5 reminders for upcoming events, settable from the app plus the usual smartphone finder feature. Not bad, not bad at all. And looking at the overall quality, the size and the features, I just don't understand how this model costs $300 where a Casio or a Square with the same feature is $550. I just don't get it. Now, moving into complete specs, this G still measures exactly 41.5 mm in diameter, but wears like a 39 40mm watch, with 42.3 mm as lug tip to lug tip, 11.5 mm in height, and weights 118 grams, so super lightweight compared to a metallic square. This watch offers the module 5724 with tough solar and Bluetooth, 20 bar wall resistance, plus the extra time, place, and reminders feature. As price, this is a JDM model, but it can be found uh, with ease online. I personally bought it from eBay, it was that simple. The rubber version starts from $250 and the metallic one close below $300. Once again, quality and features wise, in my opinion, exceeds both the metallic squares or the Casiokes, which are priced around $550. Getting back to wearability, comfort and looks, one of the core values of this watch is definitely the size, and that complex and premium aspect of the case combined with the dial. Compared to the Square or the GMB 2100, this model feels to have a bracelet which is closer in quality to the case. It feels that the GMB bracelet version doesn't meet the case finishing, but in this case it happens. We have a taper which starts from 23mm to 18mm with an oversized central link which continues the male link which integrates the case design offering a brushed pattern but having as well the ends of the links polished to create a premium view. And premium view we have on the wrist that's guaranteed. The bracelet is nicely adjustable having spring bars for each link and the clasp is pretty standard and recognizable as design having 3 micro adjusting points. As a conclusion, I am very excited for this purchase, it is a keeper for sure and I was recently considering to buy myself another GM2100, but this G still offers more than enough, exceeding my expectations by a mile. So hope you enjoyed this episode. With the usual curiosity, what do you think about this new G still model? Please let me know in the comments below. And as usual, if you're new around, Please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much, thanks for watching and until next time, be brave and stay safe.